Hi everyone, I'm gonna talk about Prop 22 in California. So Prop 22 is only for Cali. What does that mean is that we are getting paid 120% of the local minimum wage, our wage, whatever, plus 34 cents per active mile, right? So the way these apps, for example, DoorDash and Uber calculate the active time, because I I use most of the time these two apps. So DoorDash will calculate 12 hours in 24 hour period that we're allowed to drive. As so any logged in hour clocked in, DoorDash calculates it as working hour. But they only pay the active hour, which is ridiculous. So even out of eight out of 12 hours, if you're driving four and sitting eight, DoorDash still calculates them as 12. With Uber, I do Uber Eats most of the time. So with Uber, they only calculate your active time as your work time. So with Uber, if you're logged in for 12 hours and you're only active for four out of those 12, you still have eight hours to drive. Not like DoorDash, boom, 12 hours limit, you were logged in, you only were active for four, you can't drive more. But eight hours I was sitting in the car, it doesn't matter. With Uber, they only calculate, they only calculate the active time as work time, not like DoorDash, including the sitting time in the car. DoorDash calculates it as active time, but they don't pay for it, or work time, and then you're not allowed to drive anymore. But with Uber, only your active time is your work time. So you can you still have eight hours to drive in that 24 hour period if you're active. When you get close to 11, 12 hours of active time, then Uber says, that's it. But Uber doesn't calculate sitting in the car as your work time. So those are the two differences. I don't know how can they interpretate the same law in a different way. That's something that's been bugging me for the last two years. And no one is talking about that online. I guess no one cares about it. But I care because I'm picky. You know, I I do my other thing. So if I get a uh, order that it's worth, then I'll go. But don't limit me to sitting 12 hours in my chair. I'm not working. How come Uber doesn't do that? I'm talking about DoorDash. The second thing is canceled orders. Some apps do not calculate your time as active up until your order is canceled. For example, $20 order, shop and deliver, DoorDash and Uber. You go to the store for DoorDash, item is out of stock, one item, you get half pay, right? So you get $10 out of those 20. At the end of the week, if you need to get Prop 22 pay for your active time and active mileage, let's say 50 bucks, you get 50 bucks plus the $10 as other pay from DoorDash. With Uber, it's very unclear and they're not transparent. I, I talked to support a few times, but they don't even understand. They barely understand high. So, um, Uber, the problem with Uber is that, let's say the same order, you go to the store and you shop for one item, right? It's out of stock. You get a few dollars. If you call support, three, four dollars, you mu you get nothing. For example, you drive twenty minutes in a fucking winter storm. You get there, the order is canceled for any reason. The restaurant closed, item out of stock, whatever. You get nothing from Uber unless you call support, and then you waste some fucking twenty minutes on all, all with support, so they can give you like four dollars. Let's say support gives you ten dollars, which is a science fiction. They they can't even make that movie like Uber giving you $10 because the order got canceled and it was $20 order. So let's say you get $10 from Uber. I kept asking support. They don't know what to say. So are those $10, if I if I need to get from Uber $50 per Prop 22 at the end of the week, are those $10 going in that pay, base pay, or is going as other pay like DoorDash? You know, because if... If Uber is giving me $10 for the canceled order, my time in the driving five, six, seven miles to the store, saying that it's for that, and those money are actually going as an advance payment from Prop 22, legislative, whatever, that means that 
at the end of the week, I'm going to get $40 extra from Uber and not 50 You understand? And the problem is these apps, most of them, maybe all, they don't calculate your time when up until your order got canceled as active time. That's active time. I'm driving to the store. I'm trying to help the rest, the, 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 the customer, if it shop and deliver, to find item to do a substitute. They don't want anything. It's out of stock. That's not my fault. I still need to get paid for my active time and active mileage, you know. So that's very unclear with Uber. Like, when they give you an additional $3, $4, is it going in the Prop 22 pay in California? Which means you're going to get them anyway, but they're telling you here is an extra money for your time. And why they don't calculate the, the time before your order gets canceled, you know. These apps are, how can they be interpreting the law in a different way? And Prop 22 is very unclear and, and it's unprecise. It's not really determined some things, like for example this. Like DoorDash will show you this other pay for the cancel order. Uber support kept saying, oh, it's going to go in your uh, pay for the week. I understand that. I just need to know, is it going to be an extra pay on top of the Prop 22? Or are you going to calculate it as Prop 22 that you already, I'm, I'm already getting it at the end of the week. So you now saying I'm getting $4 extra for my cancel order is a pure BS because that's a time that I gifted to the apps, you know. Time is more important than uh, than gas or, you know, car expenses sometimes. But yeah, what do you think about that? I've always been intrigued about that. You know, I don't know what Sergio is gonna say is gonna say from the rideshare guy. A lot of drivers don't think about this, but like it's not really uh, specified in Prop 22 about these things, and the apps are not transparent. At least Uber. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.